Welcome to the Corvette channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a spoiler conversion kit from ACS on a C7 Stingray Corvette. Now I'm not going to try to remember this whole verbiage but I want to make sure I get it right so you know exactly what to get. So on, on the box this is called an ACS 5.1 Z51 Wicker Spoiler Conversion Kit. Z06 style with visible bolts and it's done in carbon flash. And the part number is a 45-4-117 and these are the units here and they are designed to go ahead, they're already, they're already painted in the carbon flash they've already got the adhesive already on them ready to be stuck so all you're be having to do today uh, that we're going to be doing in the video is we're going to be putting in the rib nuts that actually go on the, the spoiler. We're going to actually drill into the spoiler so we can have the exposed screws like you would if you had a factory spoiler. Now, um, they sell this same, this exact same conversion without the screws, so you can do it where they're not visible. So um, I chose to go ahead and do it like this because it's just the look that I wanted, but you can get them without the screw holes. Um, the rivet kit, the rivet nut kit, uh, is also additional um, and so they'll sell it, but they will sell this kit to you and I figured, you know, I can get this kit anywhere, but I'd rather get it from them they know exa exactly for sure that this one has every piece that we're going to need and so it was just, I just thought it was better to do it that way. It comes with the instructions We'll be using those to be able to figure out exactly what we're doing on putting it on the spoiler. And the biggest thing about this is that I've kind of already sized this up, set it on the end of the car, and it really makes it look nice, but at a fraction of the cost. Instead of having to spend, you know, twelve hundred and some odd dollars or thirteen hundred dollars or so for a new spoiler, you can do this for, you know, three hundred and some odd dollars. So it's much, much better to be able to do it this way. Um, you don't have to take the bumper off the car to be able to do it. Um, so there's, this one's a lot more simple of installation. So you're going to see that in the video. So um, I want to take this time real quick just to be able to thank ACS for supporting the Corvette channel. Uh, it means a lot. Um, it's, it's helping us be able to bring this type of stuff to you and, uh, and show you guys how to do this and how to save some money but still get the look, the look that you want. So I just, again, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you. So sit back, relax, watch the show, and hopefully when we get done, we'll have a good looking spoiler on the, on the back of the car. We're gonna get started here, but I wanna go ahead and go over everything that we're gonna need. Um, I'm also got my GoPro in my hand. I'm gonna actually be putting this on my head so you can actually see what I see as I'm doing it, which hopefully will give you a little better perspective and what I'll do is I'm going to be filming it on the main camera that you're looking at me now and then I will put this in the in the picture also probably in a, like a uh, a picture in picture so you can see both at the same time but uh, what we've got here is we've got the rib nuts and the bolt itself or the screw and the ACS supplies these so they give you they give you the six screws that you're going to need, three for each side, and then they also give you one extra rib nut itself just in case you have a problem with one. Now the the rib nut tool, like I said, you can buy that in other places. I just chose to buy it from ACS. It was just easier for me. Um, and then you're also going to need, um, they don't supply the alcohol swabs, but you're going to need that because you're going to be wiping this whole section down here. And then um, also a, a one-eighth drill bit and a three-eighths drill bit here as well as some masking tape and a marker so what we're going to end up doing is going to wipe this totally down let it dry we're going to put masking tape across this so we don't scratch the car or the spoiler itself and that we get a good adhesion then we're going to put the, uh, the tape on it and then we'll set the, the uh, 
the spoiler itself, the, the wicker part, onto the spoiler and we'll mark the holes. Then at that point we'll, we'll take everything back off. We'll just have the, uh, the blue tape here, the masking tape. We'll mark, we will have marked our holes where we're going to go. We're going to drill the pilot holes, so the 1 8 pilot hole. Then we'll follow it with a 3 8 hole. Then we'll insert the, the uh, rib nut into it and we'll put the three rib nuts in, into the spots where they go and then we'll be able to mount the, the spoiler. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and clean the spoiler off with the alcohol. And then we'll just wipe, the, wipe this little guy down, like so. And we'll let that dry. We'll do another one over here for the other side. You also want to do the edges over here too because there's it overlaps on this side of the uh, of the spoiler up here on this lip right here. Almost forgot about that. So I'm just gonna wipe that down and let that dry off. Put the masking tape on. So all we're doing here is this is just to protect the protect the spoiler, and it serves one other purpose. We've got a black spoiler, and we're gonna be using black. A black sharpie so we want to be able to see where our marks are so that's all we're doing here like that. eliminates all the chances of having any any scratches that we don't want don't need like that I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side You know, what I would recommend that you do, that you don't go over the edge over here um, for the simple fact that the spoiler is actually going to be encompassing the end caps of the spoilers on the edges. So you don't want a bunch of tape over here um, causing you to it not fit correctly. So as you can see right here, what I'm doing is I'm just getting it where it's not covering this edge. So we've got our wicker bill here like so, and we're gonna go ahead and just gonna mark the, the, uh, the holes so we know. We've got, our, we've got our guide up here at the top. We know it's fitting in there just right, and we want it to follow the geometry of the car, right, all the way down the body line. So we've got that, so now we're gonna hold this little guy in place, and we're just gonna mark the holes. So now we've got a hole here, here, and here. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put this up here. We're going to see if that lines up. See how that all, all looks. It looks fine. You can see right there that the holes are lining up just fine. Hopefully you can see that in the, in the GoPro version that's on my head. Okay, so that's how that's going to sit. Okay, so... Now it looks like it's in pretty good shape. We're going to go ahead and move on to the other side market, and then once we do that, we'll drill this one, and then we'll go drill those. So now we are on the passenger side now, and you can see that we've got the tape on here like so. And we're just going to set this little guy up there, and we're going to make sure that this one is fitting, fitting in there nice and snug, right up where it belongs. Okay, so that's in there like that. And then we're going to just simply adjust this up, just like so. You want to make sure that that's nice and snug still. This is and this is following the body line. Okay. You don't want to hyper. You don't want to bend this. You don't want to hyper extend it. You just want it snugged up against the initial spoiler. Okay. Just like so. And then you want to make sure that your gap is right. Okay. Just like that. Let's see. It's easy to easy to get it to go out of whack, so you want to make darn sure you get it right. Okay, so then we're going to 
take our Sharpie pen and mark our holes. Now, like I said, I want to use a flashlight. I want to make sure it's marked, everything looks good. And then I'm just going to take it loose and then I'm going to put it back up there because in this way I'm not I'm not keeping it stretched the way I had it and I just want to make sure that it's all going to line up because this like I said you don't get a second chance and that looks good so with that being said we're going to go look up here double check yep that's nice and tight up on the top side there no gaps this looks good so we're good to go so the next step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill a we're going to drill the eighth inch holes into these in our pilots then we'll follow with a three eighths hole and then we'll follow it with the rib nuts the moment we've all been waiting for which you know this always scares I think every every Corvette owner in the world but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward here we're going to drill a pilot hole right there you want to be careful not to press too hard it's not doesn't need that big of a that much pressure you don't want to go through the other side of the spoiler okay there's that. Now we get to go ahead and break out the 3 8 drill. This one, this one definitely scares you. This is a big hole. And you can see it's exactly what it needs to be. So here we go. See if I can get some more light on this. It definitely, definitely bites, that's for sure. the other one. Let's see maybe this one won't bite as hard. It's like so. And we've got one more. And if we can get lucky enough that this one doesn't bite, we'll try to do it. So it's grabbing. And like I was saying, you definitely don't want to push too hard because this stuff will go right through the other side. So, sometimes you can also do this. You put the drill in reverse. You can kind of rub the edge off a little bit. And then you can go forward a little bit. Just like so. And we're good. With that being done, we can peel these back. Let's see the exposed those holes and then we we'll take our rib tool I've already prepped it with the right fittings screw that onto the shaft insert it and that's just a wee bit tight isn't it That's what you want. You want it nice and snug. So once you get it in there all the way, you're just going to pull the handle. Compress that, that rivet. Like so. And at 
that point, we can unthread it. And that little guy is in there. Okay, so I'm going to end up doing that for the other two, and we should be good like that. And if you notice, and if you can see it up close here, it's actually snugging it in a little bit. So it's making it flush. Now, like I was saying, this is saving you about $900 by doing this rather than going and removing this spoiler and buying another one to put in its place. Okay, so those are done. So now at this point, we should have these, this should just bolt right on. Now, I'm not going to tape this down yet. I'm just going to start the screws. But you can see right there, that's going to fit on there just perfect. Can't ask for any better than that. That looks really, really good. Now one of the things I didn't mention to you guys in the very beginning is that they also have a center piece that you can do to make it more like a stage three. Um, that's a separate piece that you can purchase from them. Um, I chose not to, I just wanted the look. I didn't really care about having the, the center piece in there. So I just chose not to do that, but it is available to you if you want to, okay? Just ask them about it. Uh, if you look on their website, they'll be able to tell you about it. Okay, so that one went on just great. So let's, let's hope we have the same luck over on this side. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our, our eighth inch drill bit. Okay, and I'm gonna use my light here again so I know for sure that I'm in the right spot. Let's see if I can get, there we go. I started started doing the videos with my headset on, or my head uh, unit on, so the GoPro could kind of see what you guys are, what, where you guys could see what I see. I haven't figured out the light part yet, so we're still working on that. But we'll get there. holes are drilled. Now, one of the other things you could do, it takes a little more time, but instead of having that big humongous bite going from a little one, is you could do something like 730 seconds or something in between that would, that would take it a little bit less of a big jump. So we, we go from an eighth inch and then we can walk it up to that size. We don't have to go those two, you know, just directly those two sizes all at once. So you can see right here, it's going a heck of a lot better, right? A lot easier. Well, you can see right there that we can control that drill bit a whole heck of a lot better. So you can do that in stages, you know, like that was a 730 seconds, and you could go up to a half inch or a 516. I'm, just going to go to the 3 8 uh, because it won't be as big of a as big of a jump now. And you can see that it still tried to grab it. So maybe we should did it a little bit smaller. I hate doing that. It sounds like you're tearing the whole thing apart. Let's give that a try. Let's let's do this at maybe 
5 sixteenths. And then we'll go to 3 eighths. Maybe not as big of a jump. Then we can go up to the 3 eighths, and I don't think we're going to have it jumping as hard at us. Like so. Now you guys can probably see the importance of having the tape on there so you don't end up with a scratch on your spoiler. I mean, a lot of it you're not going to see it. But if you're like me, you know it's there, and that's not exactly what you want. Okay, so now at that point, we're just going to put our, our rib nuts in. And then we've got to come back, and we'll wipe everything down. We'll take both the other spoiler off that I showed you there. We'll take it off, and we'll... Just make everything nice and nice and clean before we bolt it all down. Okay. And we are good. So now what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and pull the other side back off and we'll Wipe everything back down, and then at that point, we'll just come back, we'll pull the, the sticky tape off, bolt it down. What we've got here now, I've picked up all my, my mess, and we're just going to wipe everything off. I'm just going to wipe the spoiler back down again. Okay, up over here. I'm aware that the adhesive is going to be, be touching. It was already pretty well clean, but we just since we've pulled all the all the stuff, all the tape off, got our hands on it and all the stuff, we're just getting all the oils off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually since we've got sticky tape up here in the top side and we also have it here, we kind of have to sneak up on it a little bit. So we're gonna come in at an angle here and we're gonna try to get it so the holes are lining up. Okay, and we're gonna roll it just like so, not sticking it down hard, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our screw. They put some really good stick tape on this thing, trust me. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is lined up like we had it. Okay, and then stick it. Okay, and at that point we can snug the nuts up. Like so. torques out here and we'll tighten those up here in a minute. Make sure we push this down. Make sure that that's nice and tight. That looks good. Everything looks like it's supposed to. So we'll move over to the other side. Again, we've got the sticky tape here. Okay, like so. Like that. We want to get this one for the top up there too. Okay, and then like I said, we're going to kind of do a sneak attack here. We're going to come in at the bottom, and we're going to roll up. Okay, and what that does, that gives us a chance to be able to put some screws in. Let's see if we can get over here. Screw started here before it gets too carried away. Okay, and then we want to 
push this up where it belongs, just like so. Snug this screw down. torques that we're going to use and we're just going to tighten these up okay just like that you don't want to get too crazy with tightening them down you don't want to cut it and you don't want it to break I should say so the screw doesn't want to pull it down if it can. They, I think the adhesives actually hold them in place pretty well, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, so there you have it. It is complete. Um, you can see here, I'll kind of come down here and you can see it all the way, hopefully, with the GoPro. Okay, it follows the body lines really really well it gives it that much more aggressive look so hopefully when you do yours you'll really like it as much as I do this is really really cool I'll be putting a before and after screen to top and bottom uh, so you can see what it looked like before and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards so you can see that so looking at this I couldn't ask for any better. I, I really didn't want to go and spend twelve, thirteen hundred dollars on uh, on a new spoiler. And the body on the Stingrays are just a little bit skinnier. So if you go and you're trying to get that Z06 look, and then or just, you know Grand Sport look, and then you go to the skinnier body, uh, if you buy one of the Z06 spoilers, it's going to end up sticking out. And so it doesn't follow the body line. So ACS has, you know, made it so you can utilize the original spoiler, so you have the exact sizing that it's supposed to be, so it looks proportionate. So um, I could be happier with this. I, I don't think I'll ever do the the cross piece, the clear piece that goes in the middle. Um, you know, who knows? It, it's something that you could do after. You don't have to do it now. So if you want to do it in stages, you can. But to me, this, this is exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So um, I'm very happy with it. And so I highly recommend it. Uh, all of you Z51 owners um, or you Stingray owners that have a Z51 spoiler, go this way. Way cheaper, looks as good, can't beat it. Again, I want to thank Jonathan over at ACS for helping support the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, those guys are just great people. They're great to work with. So check out their site. Um, it's acscomposite.com. And there's also a link in my description as well as on my website, www.thecorvettechannel.com. So check it out. And I just want to thank you all for supporting the channel. If you like this video today, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the like button and that bell so you'll be alerted to all of our next uploads. You have a great night. Hey, it's Melissa from North Alabama with my 01 C5 Corvette. Thanks for tuning in to the Corvette channel.